Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm not sure what this video is actually going to be because I'm going to a few places. I'm going to actually get a PPI number which is a national insurance number in Ireland, I believe. So I have to get an appointment and just go through that because uh, I'm getting a job here just in this town, just somewhere in a coffee shop. So um, yeah, then I'm going to head to Primark and see what's new. Probably pick up some makeup, so I'll probably do like a makeup haul and then also get some clothes as well because, yeah, who doesn't love a pre mark haul? Like, <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing actually because um, I really like what I'm wearing today. I'm not sure how well you can see, but um, this is my outfit. I think I got this top from pre mark, it's just a long tee, it's really nice, cutesy summary. And these jeans are from HM, they're only £15 and this is where I usually get my jeans, so I think they fit really nicely. The back. But yeah, I'm not sure what shoes I'm gonna wear though, so probably just get some like um, trainers on or something. So I'm in my favorite place, Aldi. I'm just gonna get some bits and pieces. Um, I did go to Primark, but didn't get what I needed, so I need to go back there again. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna get. Hi. Um, a couple of days ago, I was uh, going to Primark in a different outfit, and I'm in a different outfit again because I'm going back because I didn't have enough time to shop. Uh, I only had a few minutes, so um, yeah, I'm going there now to do a proper shop. I don't know what I'm gonna get really. I think I'm gonna just get like um, clothes, <laughs> maybe some makeup. But yeah, I'm on my way in there now, and I can't wait. I love Primark. Hi guys, I thought I would show you what I got um, in the last clip when I went to Primark and um, this is like a few days later and I thought I would just show you. So I got these pajamas. It's like uh, with the top and with the shorts. Oh, my curtain has just come. Okay, yeah. So, um, it's just pyjamas. Does anyone just like go to Prima just to like look at the pyjamas? Because like I just do. I just thought I'd pick these ones up. And I'm going on holiday soon so I thought these would be great for um, the heat. Because I forgot to bring uh, pyjamas in Lanzarote. So I'm definitely going to bring some to when I go to Mallorca in a few days. I will. Next week maybe. I can't remember when I'm going. <laughs> so I yeah. Got another pair of pyjamas because I generally pick up a pair of pyjamas every time I go to Primark, no joke. And these are the ones. Um, these are these are cotton pyjamas and I just have pyjamas like these and they're cheap enough, they're like 7 euro so it just comes with the top and the trousers and I just love buying new pyjamas. <laughs> so yeah, they're really cute. What was this lemony off the shoulder top now I absolutely think this is so cute it's really summery as well and like it feels really nice material as well but I thought this would be great for when I go to Mallorca so yeah I'm really happy with this and I got this in a extra small so it'll sit nicely what I did when I was in um, Lanzarote I brought clothes that was just like too tight against my sunburn so I thought I'd get things that are just a bit more loose on my body because I was in like actual pain when I was wearing my clothes so yeah the next thing I picked up was these three like sets of sports bras I think or just like you know just little bras they have cups you, well they have cups in there so they're padded but you can like take them out if you want but yeah I just I feel like I could wear these like every day sort of thing. They seem really comfortable. Because I try not to wear as bras. I mean when I have the chance when I don't have to wear one I won't wear them because I don't know why. Even though I like wearing a bra I just like not wearing a bra as well. Especially on holiday like I like to not wear bras. So I think this would be really ideal. I'm only really 10 euro for three like. Now for the uninteresting parts which I got like um there's three pack of thongs there, just, um, just 
another bunch of underwear that no one really cares about, but I just thought I'd show you anyway. And socks, because like I always buy socks from Primark, like it's I always do. And then I just got this top. I don't know. To be honest, I don't really know why I bought this, but it's just a grey top. And it doesn't look like the best material in the world, but yeah. It'll do. Um, yeah, I also bought a brush for myself because mine has literally done it. It doesn't even have the handle on it anymore, so I just thought I would just buy another brush, which would only. I think it only cost me two euro. Yeah, two euro for a brush. Bargain. And it looks kind of good, so. And then I picked up the same top, but just in a different colour, in this like peachy, I don't know, pinky colour, maybe. And it's a Giro, and it's really comfortable and it's cosy, so that's why I picked this up. I also got it in the brown colour, so I have now this colour, this colour, this colour, grey, I don't have black. And I don't have white, so that's probably the next colours I'm going to pick up. But yeah, they're so nice. Um, I also bought another pair of jeans from Primark. And they're just the skinny leg. Um, I don't know if they're high-waisted. But they're the, the stretchy skinny jeans. And these were 13 euro. And I like my other pair. So I just thought I'd get these ones. So what else do I have? Oh yeah, I forgot. Now, how cute is this? It's like a um, robe. But it's in a mustard colour. But it's like pajamas. And guess how much this was? Oh, it was okay. Yeah. So it was 14 euro, down from 7 euro, down to 1 euro for this and oh, it's just so nice. You can't even really see it but like, you know, it's just like a robe and you just like tie around. It's just, I just think it looks really cool. Hi everyone, this is not going to be like um, a, tutorial, a tutorial or anything but I just thought I'd just, um, I just thought I would do my makeup on camera since it's already on <laughs> I'm just starting with a primer and this is a new one that I bought the other day and it's by Makeup Ooh, it's by Makeup Revolution and it's really runny it's a hydrating one and my skin is I mix between dry and oily but recently it's been quite dry so I thought we'd just get a hydrating one also I'm using this palette which I bought the other day I still haven't used it that's why I'm using it in this video and it's Kami's palette um yeah I've been dying to try and get this palette but when I seen it I was like I'm totally getting that palette so yeah I've primed my face I'm gonna put a little bit on though this was also new, this was uh, Makeup Revolution, the Hydrating Primer. I've never used this one, there was like um, a hydrating one and a mattifying one. But I, I chose the hydrating one because my skin is quite dry at the minute. But yeah, that seems okay. I also picked up their foundation as well. Um, I actually haven't tried this one before. So, um, I've seen it everywhere though, I've just... Never thought to buy it, I don't know why. But here I am now. Going to try it. I got the shade F5. Because I'm slightly tanned. But, um... Oh. It reminds me of a smell. I don't know. Oh, it's quite a pinky undertone. Which I didn't realise. And I don't think I have a pinky undertone. Um, I don't like the do I don't like this albicator either. I feel like it just takes ages, and yeah, it's just like time consuming. I don't like this at all. Is anyone like 
D does anyone like this packaging? No. Because I really don't. And I found my beauty blender, which is stained and... Oh, just... It's not great. Just gonna wet it with my hydrating setting spray from Primark. Yeah, I really don't like that foundation stick. That I think that's what's probably turning me off is because I knew the applicator was like this. But this is quite a light one as well. I thought this was a bit darker. Oh my god! There's a massive spider just hanging out the window. But the but the window's closed, so it's fine. But that's actually huge. Oh my god, is anyone just really scared of spiders? Because I really am. I didn't realise this was a pinky undertone and now I'm like... Regret it now. From picking this colour because I was torn between this one and... I don't know, another colour. But it's quite mattifying. But yeah, like I said, it's, it's quite a pinky undertone. doesn't look like it when you open the when you open the um bottle oh my god I actually hate this door like this applicator oh my god sorry I know I'm complaining but I just really don't like it just take the okay, so thoughts on that um foundation it's um it's nice I mean it's not my favourite one but it's it's still okay. I don't like the applicator as we already know, and um, the shade wasn't really my what I was expecting. Um, but overall, it was okay. I mean, it was cheap enough, so I can't really complain. I'm just going in with a concealer. This is the MUA concealer, and um, it's not really that brightening. I just did my brows off camera because I just, I can, that just takes too long, but I've done them really um, shite, but I'm going to continue anyway. And I'm going in with Kami's palette. Now I want to just do something really simple because I just don't want a lot of makeup on, but I'm going to go in with Addicted, which is like this beigey colour for my, um, my base colour and that's a really nice colour. Now I'm just going to be really basic and going with a colour Cause of You. It's like this pinky colour. I'm just going to put that like in the centre of my eyelids like a halo eye. And I'm just going to spray my brush as well. And I'm just going to go really basic with this eye look today because actually I'm, uh, that's definitely not a halo eye, is it, Tony? No. I'm just putting it all over the lid, basically. But it's a lovely colour. It's like a hint of gold. And then just a bit Okay, of so I just popped a little bit of pink in the middle. Uh, the shade Bite Me and it's gorge. I just couldn't help myself. Okay, we're just going to pretend that these... Wing liners are actually stunning. We're gonna pretend that we like them. Cause otherwise, I'm just gonna have a mental breakdown because I've literally been trying to make these work for the last like 30 minutes. But I'm just gonna show you the lashes I'm gonna put on, and it's from this um, brand called So Sue, is it? And these the Brook lashes. They look really nice. I've never tried these lashes before. They look really pretty and they look like I don't need to trim them, so. i finished my makeup now, but I just wanted to show you what I bought the other day. Um, this Maybelline Lasting Fix setting spray. I've never used it before, but I'm going to use this now to set my face. Hi everyone. Um, I'm, well, I'm coming back because I just remembered that I bought a few scratch cuts earlier when I was in the shop. Now, I don't normally buy these. I just buy them when I just, when I fancy it. <laughs> Uh, so the first one is a 2 euro game and you have to match 
three to win, and I'm just going to use a key because that's the closest thing to me at the moment. I never win on these things though, I don't even know why I buy them. I just don't know why I do it. Oh, God, what if I... oh please don't do that to me. I'm definitely not going to win, am I? No. Well, I lost the first game anyway. Oh, so annoying. I just want to... Oh. I just want to win something on these things. I don't know why I thought to record this, but... Oh, I didn't win on that either. Why do I not win? On stuff. What would I have got for you if I did? Yeah, so that was just a loss. So that goes in the bin. The next one was a three-year-old game. What you have to do? Okay. So you get three numbers, three winning numbers, and they got a um, match. So my lucky numbers, that, well, I'm hoping they are, is number 22, 15, and 12. Up to, win up to 10 times. Mm. So do I have to match three? Oh, watch. Oh, I match any numbers. I bet you I won't win though. Come on. 16, 21. Okay. So that's a loss already. Number one, number two. I honestly never win on these things. I don't know why. I just. 13, 24, 14, just literally like what a waste of money. No, no, I did not win that one either. Oh well. No, I literally did not win a thing there. <sighs> Why did I do this to myself? Okay, I got three left. Okay, send this in. What do I do? It just says match three amounts, win that amount. Okay. Just give me a win in, like that's all I want. Even if it's just a fiver. So after all that scratching, I won 10 euro. Oh, I mean, it's better than nothing, but like, I was expecting more. But oh well, I'm still happy with that. But um, yeah, I'm hungry. And I don't know what to have um, for food. Like the last time I ate was like 12, so like I'm really hungry now. And it's 20 past nine. So yeah, I just, I think I'm gonna get some food. That's literally all I do is eat. But before I eat, I'm actually going to wrap the rest of my sister's presents, which I've already wrapped half of them. Um, yeah, so basically, um, I'm going on holiday with my sister in September. And um, I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? Yeah. We're going to Mallorca. And yeah, like I said, she's going to be turning 16. And I just bought her a couple of things um, for her birthday, which I know she'll really like. I mean, it's nothing big, like, they're probably really affordable things. Um, because obviously we have to spend out money for um, her birthday, for the holiday. So, um, yeah, how cute are these? She's going to love these. Like, she, like, everything that I bought her... It's everything that I would wear or like I would have and we're similar anyway in personality and stuff so she'll love absolutely ev like everything um but yeah I got this um phone charger from TK Maxx this was 12 and it's a 10 foot length um charger 
which um, I don't think she needs anymore but we used to have a bunk bed and like she used to sleep on the top and um, they've recently got rid of the bunk bed now so if she ever needs to charge it then I just um, I thought I'd just go with this one and I also went to Primark and I got this little brush because she loves um, Disney and I just got this little bag, this makeup bag and she doesn't um, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup but she um, she loves heavy makeup so like this would be a little cutesy bag and this is from Primark yeah and this was four euros and it's really cute like so um, yeah it's cute so I'm just gonna wrap the, I'm just gonna wrap whatever I need to wrap I wrapped everything else all in this lovely little bag um, all in this lovely wrapping paper it's from um, Poundland like so cheap and this bag like it's really good like I was quite surprised how good it is but yeah she's looking forward to it and I'm looking forward